And this is the last tutorial for setting up CNC for the top curve. Uh, you should use the other tutorial for both the bottom and the top box um, square milled. So if we open up top of box curve, I think is what I called that, or top curve Thomas. I don't know, whatever you called yours. Yeah, this is the one because it was Mr. Tizzlewink. And let's click verify. Verify settings. Make sure we're good. Three and a half, four and a half, point seven five. All these are zeros, and then I uh, I did my safety of a uh, initial to a position point one. Um, before I verify it, let's just make sure this is all good. I'm going to select the tool, and in the previous tutorial, I showed how to set up the ball mill. So make sure you've selected that, insert that one, and let's verify it. And there it goes. So depending on the complexity of the top of your box. Um, it'll go quicker or slower. Insert tool zero now, so I missed that part of the code. I'm gonna have to delete that piece. And let's see, to find that, if I do machine info on line N2928, I wanna get rid of that. Otherwise, it's gonna pause halfway through. So I'll find N20, and again, I went to view machine info, so I could see this. So I'll go to 20,928. Let me scroll down here. 20,928 and uh, where is it? There it is. So I, I'm going to stop this thing and I'm going to delete the spindle stop, tool change, and spindle speed startup. And I have to unlock it. So I go to, because I can't delete, I'm going to unlock, go to edit and lock. And now I can backspace that. So now I'm going to try to run this again, verify, and my plus button is maxed out so it's as fast as it will verify. So it goes all the way through and then it comes through again and it does clean it up a little bit. Whether or not that's worth my time, I don't know. But there it is. So that's what it looks like. It looks good. So at this point I can take this into the milling room and load it up and um, zero my box top, make sure it's box is in there upside down and that it's elevated. You have a spacer underneath it. Uh, otherwise, when you mill this bottom curve here, it'll gouge into the clamp, which is a really, really, really bad thing. Um, so go ahead and take a screenshot of this, and then you're done. Should be done with your last screenshot.